So the so-called newsroom at the Washington Post is melting down tonight, not because the staff collectively realized, hey, we're in dishonorable dead-end jobs funded by a billionaire to attack his political enemies, and therefore we should probably quit on the basis of our conscience. No, they haven't figured that out. No, they're upset because one of the paper's reporters, a thoroughly beta character called Dave Weigel, retweeted a joke. Now, here it is. Before we read it, we do want to warn you, this is a joke. It's not the result of some longitudinal study. It's a joke. Here's the joke. Every girl is bi. You just have to figure out if it's polar or sexual. <laughs> well, another reporter at the Post, Felicia Somnez, flipped out and publicly demanded that Dave Weigel should be punished for liking the joke. And, of course, the Post caved and issued the statement from Matea Gold, the managing editor or something, said, we won't tolerate this. And they suspended poor Dave Weigel with pay. He has so little dignity that he didn't resign. He's just waiting at home on Xbox to get back into the Post newsroom. What's amazing is that Dave Weigel previously defended the same reporter who got all mad when she was in trouble for a tweet about Kobe Bryant. Ugh, what a story. We wanted to get to the bottom of this. We want to talk to the man who wrote this dangerous, unauthorized, cruel and insensitive joke against oppressed women, Cam Harless. And we found him and he joins us now. Cam, did you know that you would wreck a man's career with this joke when you wrote it? I, I didn't know that, but if I had known I'd done it, I probably would have done it earlier, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was an unintended benefit. Now, when you wrote this joke, <laughs> did you mean to attack with verbal violence and dehumanize half the population of the United States. Well, not, not, not no. I, uh, when I, so I was, I was, I was talking to some friends in, in, yeah, in a group chat, and someone said this, and it was the first time I'd heard it. Apparently, this is an old joke, something from the yeah. '90s. Um, but this the first time I heard it, and I chuckled, and I thought, I'm going to tweet that. It's the first day of Pride, Pride Month. Why not see what happens? I thought 30, 30 uh, likes, right? I think I'm at like 12 and a half thousand now, and I never expected that I could help set fire to the Washington Post and to um, <laughs> start a civil war. I, I'm, I'm, I, I felt bad for like half a minute when I found out that he was suspended. And I don't think, I don't think anyone should be punished for retweeting a joke that I, I tweet. That's ridiculous. No, no. Um, but at the same time, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm profoundly against wars. So when I found out that Weigel was very pro-Iraq war, I was like, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing that it was this guy that got that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always the weakest and the most craven that are most in favor of sending other people's kids to die in pointless conflicts? Have you ever noticed that? I, oh, absolutely. I mean, it's... <sighs> And there's so many of them. It's like I, I was when, when I was on the drive over here, I was talking to the driver and uh, we were having a conversation and he's from a, uh, a place where a lot of that stuff has happened. And yeah. I was just like, you know, I, I can't apologize to you because, you know, I didn't do this and I don't right. want to be someone who would claim that but it's 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 heartbreaking that not only do we send our kids to die but there's also gross negligence and um collateral damage i mean there, there's so much of this that happens but i don't it's, cam that's not painful. the real problem the real problem is sexist jokes on twitter okay you're I absolutely think that's right. the moral equivalent of droning <laughs> 50 villages in sudan so i want you to i want you to live with that on your conscience but i still want to thank you for joining us tonight you criminal <laughs> Good to see you. I'm a criminal. Good to see you. <laughs> so the Washington Post is a hellish place to work, but it's one of many.